Hi, my name is Josh Stewart, and this is my entry for the 2017 Hackaday Prize Speedwino. Whether you call them gearheads or petrol heads, the world of automotive tuning and tweaking has always been filled with hackers. As engines have advanced, more and more of this world has been dependent on electronics, and many a shade tree mechanic has found a shared love of tinkering with electronics. Central to this is the ECU, or engine management system, which controls the fuel, ignition, and many auxiliary systems of the engine. As anyone who has ever played with automotive electronics can tell you, it is a notoriously closed world. Both the OEMs and aftermarket companies guard their technology very closely, which both drives up prices and prevents the hobbyist community from modifying, hacking, and generally using their hardware the way they would like. This is where Speedwino, the open source, hacker-friendly en engine management system comes in. Growing from what began as an experiment running fuel injection and modern coil-on-plug ignition on a lawnmower, Speedwino slowly began to build a community of enthusiasts who saw the potential in a project like this. Slowly small milestones began to be hit, from the first multi-cylinder engine through to the first V8, the first bike engine to run over 12,000 RPM, and the first turbo engine. The firmware underwent significant changes to move it from being a small toy system to a fully MISRA compliant, platform agnostic code base with thousands of hours of bench and on-car testing. There are now over 80 known on-vehicle installations from cars to bikes, golf carts and stationary engines. Speedwino's low price has also opened up new possibilities for electronic engine control such as model engines or low budget racing where the cost would previously have been restricted. From the beginning, Speedwino has been strictly open source. With GPL licensed firmware, Creative Commons user documentation and Tapper hardware designs, the goal has always been to give users the ability to customize and modify the system to their own needs. The community has responded to this with board variations that are tailored to specific applications as well as enhancements and bug fixes submitted against the main project. To date, the project has focused on developing boards and kits for self-assembly, but as the community grows, the next generation of designs is being worked on to bring Speedwino to new audiences. This will continue to help Speedwino push open source into this traditionally closed market and benefit the automotive enthusiast crowd who don't necessarily have a strong background with electronics. These designs are currently in a beta stage with one small trial run of fully assembled units having been completed and sent to testers already. Currently I am hoping to have a wider availability of these units within two to three months. Finally, a big thank you to Hackaday for all their efforts in supporting projects like this. The 2017 prize is a huge strength for the hacker community as a whole and, win or lose, Speedwino owes a part of its success to date to the community that Hackaday has helped cultivate. Thanks for watching.